Welcome to Living on the Edge, volume 35. When I was a kid, my mother always enforced the three biscuit rule. Now I'm 40 and I have my own house. I can have as many cups of tea as I like, so I have four biscuits for every cup of tea that I have. You know what I am, guys? We're living on the edge. Got stopped at a compulsory police breath, police breath test checkpoint and got asked to count to 10 into the breathalyzer. You guessed it. I stopped at nine and stared straight at the officer. We're living on the edge. My mate was at work the other day. He had lunch and then he needed to go for a dump. After a few minutes on the throne, the lights go out. They are those energy-saving ones that need motion detection. So he waved his hands around to turn them on again, but absolutely nothing. Then he stands up, repeats the waving motion, still nothing. Listening to make sure that there's nobody else in the building, he then proceeds to open the door, cacks around his ankles and arms waving in the air, and walks a colleague. What a clown of a sight. <laughs> that is living on the edge. Up the Irish, the All Blacks and the Wars. Suffering from heartburn not long ago, wife says we've got some Gaviscon tablets and went to get them for me after chomping two of the chalky bastards down. I started to feel rather sick. Turns out they were 10 years out of date. Best before 2013. Last night for dinner, I put Italian herbs on my French toast. (laughs) Drove down a street that said local traffic only. Guess what, guys? (laughs) Not even a local. (laughs) Uh, Been with the missus for six and a half years, and we have six kids between us. We were fooling around one night, didn't lock the bedroom door for the first time. (laughs) Silly stuff. I was up at the bar and got three pints of beer. The bartender said, do you want to try? I looked him dead in the eye and said, don't you think I have enough to carry? We're living on the <laughs> and one final one from me. Had a microwave meal, cooked it in the oven. We're living on the <laughs> What's fantastic and an improvement. <laughs> Last one from me. I love nothing more than standing in the gym window eating a full fresh cream Victoria sandwich cake. <laughs> Oh, you absolute savages, the lot of you. 36th edition of Living on the Edge. Got up on me stilts to do some jib stopping on the ceilings. Didn't even bother checking the straps were on. There he is, (laughs) up the waz. Apparently on a long-haul flight to Japan, was warned of strong tailwinds causing turbulence for most of the flight. Needed to lay some cable about halfway (laughs) through. Seatbelt light comes on in the John. Guess who's still sat firmly on the throne till the very end, guys? <laughs> Put together new beds for the kids. Instructions say not to use power tools. Pulled out the DeWalt Impact Driver. Put both beds up in no time. No instruction manual tells me what I can and can't use. I ask for plain chips instead of ready salted chips. <laughs> Okay, mate. I'm an electrician from England. I'm dyslexic and colorblind, so I can't read the instruction manuals or see the colors of cable. I've averaged a shock a week for the last 20 years, but oh well, the money's worth it. On the- <laughs> I'm using a product called Scrub Free. You guessed it, still scrubbed. On the- <laughs> Went for a cack the other day. Toilet seat was up. <laughs> Sat straight down anyway. That's shitting on the edge. My 12-year-old son got crook a few days before Christmas. Ended up firing from both ends. The next morning, he comes stumbling out of his room in his white cricket undies. <laughs> yelled down the hallway, That's truly living on the edge, fella! <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. A few weeks ago, it was my wedding anniversary. I sent the missus the confirmation email for my vasectomy next week and said, Happy anniversary. Living on the edge. Oh, jeez. Like I said, New Zealand's riskiest radio. And we're just really worried about your mm. personal safety with the way some of you guys are operating. We're living on the edge. Wore a muscle shirt out in public. You guessed it. Don't have any muscles. <laughs> we're living on the edge. <laughs> Got a couple of scratches yesterday. Scratch the bonus numbers off first. That's right, fellas. I'm right here living on the edge. We're living on the edge. My doctor had told me to make sure I take my medication with a big glass of water. <laughs> Adam Dry. We're living on the edge. <laughs> oh, he's backed it up with chewing gum wrapper. Says, think twice for recycling. Guess what, fellas? I didn't think about it at all. I just been that sucker. We're living on the edge. <laughs> Guess what, fellas? This one here from Duncan Hyde. <laughs> Got a slice of cake for my birthday. Ate the whole thing, plus the candle that was on top of it. True story. We're living on the edge. 
Paul from South Africa, cooking a stew. Recipe says a pinch of salt. Bugger that. I've given it two. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down there, big chief. Sometimes I push the garage door opener button to close the garage door before the car is backed all the way out of the garage. Whoa, 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 whoa partner. Living on the was approaching a roundabout to take the first exit yesterday. Big line of traffic in the left lane. So I stayed in the right lane, went all the way around and took my planned exit. Yep, that's right. I'm living right there on the edge. Let me finish with this, though. Mm. Long weekend's coming up, fellas. I'm not going to take a shit for the whole thing. I'm waiting until I'm getting paid to do it on Tuesday. On 